Hi guys, I'm here today to share the answer to the number one question I get asked on the blog, which is, how do you make your homemade chalk type paint recipe? I can't wait to show you. It's so easy and once you see, you're going to want to paint anything that will stand still. I've been using Plaster of Paris in my recipe for years. I've used it on everything from furniture makeovers to candlesticks to picture frames, plastic, wood, anything that will stand still. Today I'm starting with about a half a cup of latex paint. It's just leftover home paint from my remodel and I'm going to mix it with Plaster of Paris. For half a cup I use about one to two scoops of plaster and just mix it really thoroughly. You want to get all of the mixture incorporated into your paint and do your best to get rid of the lumps. When you just mix in the plaster of Paris, your paint's going to become thick and gloppy, which is what you don't want. So you're going to add a little bit of water. And by a little, I just mean a few tablespoons. The best thing about this recipe is it's just like a recipe that you would cook at home. You're going to make it your own. And if you mess up and put too much water in, you can correct it by adding more plaster of Paris. If you add too much plaster of Paris, you can correct it by adding some more water or add more paint until you get back to the consistency you need. And that's what you're going to learn. Most of the recipes on the internet tell you to have about three parts paint to one part plaster of Paris, which is really close. But where you're going to get tripped up is you have to remember that all paints are different. And the beauty of making your own paint like this is you can use all the paints you have laying around your house. Your latex paint that's left over from a painting job you did, your acrylic paints, just any of that stuff. But they're going to all have a different consistency to start with, which means you're going to need to add different amounts of plaster of Paris and water. So this is just to show you the consistency that you're going to want to get so you can learn how to duplicate it at home. You really just want to go back to practically the original paint consistency. I would say this is still a little bit thick and this paint will thicken a little bit as you work with it. So you want to start off with it a little bit looser than you might think. Just stir it up. This is about right. perfect coverage. It's that simple. So grab some plaster of Paris, some paint you have around your house, and see what you can't come up with. I promise you can't break it. It's so easy and I can't wait for you to try it. Now that you see how easy this recipe is to whip up, head over to huntandhost.net to see more tips and tricks on how to use your brand new recipe.